Marita Holloman. You've got scoliosis of the spine. Is that right? Yes. You want God to straighten that spine up right now? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Here it comes. Get ready. How many of you believe that God can perform divine surgery? Here it comes. Here it comes in the mighty and the matchless name of Jesus. Oh, there it is. That was the power of God that went through her. Stand up on your feet. Oh, glory. Oh, glory. Oh, glory. This is the power. This is the power. Oh, look at that. She's going to get up out of a wheelchair. God touched her. I didn't even have to pray for her. Hallelujah. She got up out of a wheelchair. Reef, lift that wheelchair up and let these people. As, is it Gould? Alice Gould? This is the Reverend Peter Popoff, television yeah, evangelist, Alice. faith healer. Popoff claims psychic powers and the ability to heal. Right You've just seen what Popoff's viewers watch when they tune in to his weekly telecasts. We're about to show you what the viewers don't get to see. While the Reverend Popoff claims he receives gifts of the spirits, in reality, his only gift is a $20,000 radio transmission link with which his wife, backstage, communicates to him through a tiny receiver hidden in his inner ear. What you're about to hear is an FM interception of Popoff's wife cueing him from backstage. Directly to your left, over there by the First Lady, is Louise Cooper. Louise, Louise. Cooper. Cooper? Is it? No, 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 no. Cooper? No. Over by your left. Cooper? On your left hand side. Hallelujah, left. Louise Cooper. Who is Louise? Stand up. She's got arthritis in her knees. Way over. Where no, is no, no. Louise? Turn over to the left. Hallelujah. There you go. Louise Cooper, arthritis in her left knee. How long have you been suffering with that pain? Mm. There it is in Jesus' name. Reverend Popoff's wife collects this personal information from prayer request cards filled out by members of the audience prior to the crusade. This is the story of Reverend Peter Popoff and his multi-million dollar television ministry. Take this message to the world. It's the season of harvest. Fields are ripe and waiting. It's harvest time. Harvest time has come and God is moving by His Spirit around the world and hundreds of thousands of people are being blessed by the power anointed ministry of evangelist Peter Popoff. Behind the iron curtain, beyond the prison walls, beneath your heavy burden, my God has heard The Popoff television program is shot on location at convention centers throughout the country where Popoff conducts his healing miracles. These videotapes are later brought back to Los Angeles and are edited into half-hour programs, which air weekly on 35 television stations throughout the U.S. and Canada. Savior, Jesus Christ, whatever your need, physical, spiritual, or financial, nothing is too great for our God because the winds of revival are blowing. Waves of God. We decided to follow Peter to San Francisco, where he was appearing on Sunday for one of his miracle crusades. Let's go talk to some of the people who have come to see Peter. Do you watch Peter often? Yeah, I watch him the TV. Do you watch any other television evangelists? Yes. Why do you watch uh, television evangelists, do you think? Yeah, because uh, we are interested with the healing of my husband. He has uh, cancer. Do you believe Peter will heal you today? If Jesus will work with him, I do. Yes. up for Peter right now and we're at the Civic Center in San Francisco so what we're gonna try to do right now is find Peter while they're warming up for him and uh, just see what he's doing before he's healing so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna go and try to find Peter this is the truck from which they direct Peter's show 
and we're looking for Peter. So we're going to try to find Peter. Oh no, the door's closed. We're going to try to have to get in. Let's see if we can open the door. Can you open the door, Dan? Or Sam, can you try to get that door open? Just slide it open. Push it if you can. You got it. You got it. Keep pushing. We were constantly frustrated in our attempts to get in touch with Reverend Popoff before the crusade. Two months later, it was revealed to us by a psychic debunker, the amazing Randy, that the reason we were denied access was that downstairs in their dressing room, Popoff's wife was secretly setting up and testing their radio transmission device. The following was recorded as they were testing their equipment. Hello, Petey. I love you. I'm talking to you. Can you hear me? If you can't, you're in trouble. At the time of this crusade, we were unaware of these radio transmissions. In Los Angeles, a few months earlier, we had asked Reverend Popoff about his psychic abilities. I've had visions, I've had dreams that I believe are very supernatural. And in our crusades, I feel that God leads me very strongly. It's, it's not everyone that is sensitive enough to be able to pull people out of wheelchairs and make a walk in Jesus' name. I've come here to be healed. You've come here to be healed. I see you have a cane. What is a... Arthritis. 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 Mm -hmm. Do you believe Peter can cure that arthritis? Yeah. You do? Mm -hmm. I believe God can. Have you ever watched Peter on television? Yes. Yeah, I, I watch him every Sunday. Uh -huh. I watch him every Sunday. I send him money, too. How much money have you sent Peter, do you think? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I have sent $100 at a time. Really? That's right. That's a lot of money. Yeah, I have some hot dogs at a time. Yeah, but he do, he, he's good. He's good. He's real good. Oh, got to recreate these hips. He's burning this arthritis right out of your body. Take a few steps just to make the devil mad. Hallelujah, that's it. Just move around a little bit. There she goes. Just walk with me. Oh, glory to God, she's not going to need that walker anymore. God's just putting new strength, new health, burning that arthritis out of her body. Just keep going. Hallelujah. I'm going to throw this walker. Hallelujah. Glory to God. There it is. Oh, she's not going to need that anymore. God's giving her an overhaul job from the top of her head to the bottom of her feet. It's a degree of being called. It's a degree of being yielded. And also, it's a degree of being spiritually mature. You have to know what you're doing. You have to be sensitive to the Holy Spirit. Not everyone can hear the voice of God. Dearie Johnson is her mother, and she's about to get rid of the walker. She's right next to her. Just a minute. I'm going to lay hands on you. Glory. Dearie Johnson is the mother of the... You want to get rid of this walker, sister? She lives at 1627 10th Street. Mm -hmm. How long have you been walking on that walk? Mm -hmm. She lives at 1627. God's going to deliver you right now and make you every whit whole. 1627 10th Street. 1627 10th Street? That's right. That's right. Uh, you, Jesus, has angels all around your house. She has and the devil told you your ministry's over, I'll tell you, you're just getting started. Oh, God's recreating these hips. He's burning this arthritis right out of your body. I tell you, that, that made me believe less in him than I ever have believed in him. It really made me believe less in him than I ever believed in him. When I see him, so she was down there telling him them names. I didn't know. I didn't. I didn't know she was telling him them, them names. Now that you know about it, what do you think? Yeah, I know about it now. I was already saved and sanctified, and had no desire to turn back for whatever, honey. Well, I ever met Peter. I'm gonna throw this walker. Hallelujah. Glory to God. She's not gonna need that anymore. God's giving her an overhaul job. 
from the top of her head to the bottom of her feet. Amen. What do you think? Do you think your mother should continue to support Peter after watching all this? I wouldn't. Me, to my belief, I wouldn't. Because if he if he could have healed, but she been to him twice, she ought to be so she thought they came down this walk on without it. I think what you're doing is you're you're exploiting this market. You're taking lonely people using the television medium for financial gain. How would you answer someone who would look at your program from that perspective? Well, it's it's hard to answer a question like that. I mean. Are cigarette advertisers exploiting their audience? Are the beer brewers exploiting their audience? You know, you could say, well, they are, yes. I pray now that you will respond and be obedient unto the leading of the Holy Spirit. I need 50 people to help me with a $1,000 gift. I need 100 people to help me with 500. So many of you need a financial blessing. Launch out in faith and prove God now. Let me send you, as my token of appreciation, this beautiful carrier capsule keychain filled with beautiful anointing oil from the Holy Land. It's fragranced. It's prepared according to the biblical formula. This will be one of your treasures. You'll never again miss an opportunity to minister God's healing to your friends, to your family. I want to send you this beautiful... People do accuse television evangelism of uh, exploiting and so on and so forth. But let me say this. If, if that is a true accusation, that every church in every corner of every city in this whole country is exploiting every community that they're in. And I think uh, running the business end is every bit as spiritual and documented in God's Word as Peter out there laying his hands on people and asking the Lord through his Holy Spirit to heal them. Devil, back off. Back off, devil! Jesus, let your power divine flow from this Oh, Lord and Savior, we thank you for divine healing. Divine deliverance, there it is. Healing and deliverance right now. Right now. Lift up your hands and begin to praise God with me. What was wrong with you? And what just happened? Jesus, heal me. Do you really believe you're healed? Yes. Do you think your cancers are gone now? Yes, I believe that because God never lies and we stand in His word. Praise the Lord. I'm a marketing person and I do the time buying. I measure each market in which we are with Peter's program, like a franchise. And I have to know exactly every month uh, how much money goes into the market and how much money comes out of the market. And that specifically brings me to believe whether a market's working or it's not working. It's a, it's a straight business uh, part of the ministry and that's very important in, our, in TV evangelism. It was reported and confirmed to us by two of Popoff's staff members that during 1985 and 1986, the Popoff organization grossed over a half a million dollars a month, tax-free. See that hand? God's going to heal that hand one of these days. You say, that's impossible. In man's eyes, it is impossible. With God, all things are possible. And I believe that I will have a whole hand one of these days. My doctor has sent me everywhere, and I have there, there's nothing they can do for me. So as far as medical help is concerned, they've done everything they can. God is my only answer. My family and my friends know that. There's no denying that. So this is, this is maybe your last chance for hope? Well, this is my only chance. How often a week do you think you watch, Peter? Well, sometimes it, it, it varies. Sometimes I might watch him twice a day. You know, he's on two different programs, you know, different times of the day. So sometimes I watch him pretty, uh, pretty steady. You know, I watch him twice on Sundays. And this, this can go on for a while. I felt like I could relate to him because I felt that he was truly, really interested in people. I, I, you, 
I, that comes across, I think, in a person, you know, whether you feel that they're, they're really, uh, really interested and really care or if they're just, you know, if it's just, you know, put on. I really feel he does care. We have a hot one for you. Robert K. Wood. He's got Would a you sit down for just a moment? No, Who is Robert Wood? Is it Robert? Robert K. Wood. K. Wood? Robert K. K. Wood. K. Wood. Is it K. Wood? You've got a chest condition? Who is that? That needs surgery. You need His surgery. The doctors gone. were going to do surgery on you? He believes that Brother, God you're going to see today. a divine surgery this afternoon. Here it comes. Just lift up your hands. God is going to recreate those veins, recreate those arteries. Why do you think God chose you to do this and made you so well, effective? He always chooses someone. He chose Moses, he chose Aaron, he chose the 12. And somebody has to do God's work. Well, how can I speak for God? <laughs> God chooses whom he chooses. We had met the Anderson family while we were filming at Popoff's Crusade in San Francisco. A few months later, we followed up and visited with them and their foster children. I was first attracted to Peter's ministry because of the dynamic power and, he, and the healing services. Uh, I just really enjoyed it when I could see them get out of their wheelchairs and push him. And, throw the canes and the crutches away. I was just impressed with the, I could feel the power and the spirit, mostly. And I knew that it wasn't some fake show going on. I knew that it was really the Holy Spirit that was working in it, the Holy in the spirit ministry. Working with Peter. I could tell that he was really convicted under the spirit. You know who did that? Jesus. Jesus did it. Lift your hands and just thank him for it, amen. Right next to her is Morris Christman. Just a minute, who is Morris? Christman. Christman? Yeah, he's got hernia and high blood pressure. You've got a hernia also. High blood pressure. You want pressure. God to take it away right now? Come on out into the aisle. Here it goes. And diabetes. Here it goes. I'll tell you that high blood pressure's coming down. That diabetic condition is fleeing away. I'll tell you, you're going to feel better than you felt in a long, long time. Here it comes. In Jesus' mighty name. Off. Hallelujah. You're not the real excitable type, Morris. <laughs> you, what's that? Very excited. What's that? Thank you very much. Feel that thing. You don't want him to feel it. Come Hallelujah. on. What happened? You feel it. It's okay now. Yeah. See, you don't have to get excited. Jesus will heal you anyway. Thank you very much. What do you think? Of God just took that hernia away, didn't he? Yeah, he did. He did it. Isn't that wonderful? You lift your hands and just thank him for that divine healing Tom touch. Henry. It's done now. Hallelujah. Tom Henry. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> What's your reaction to all this? I'm very surprised, quite honestly. Really am. I'm not going to down Peter Popoff because of that. Mm -hmm. I mean, that might be his tool of, of having to handle it, but I feel a lot of it is coming from the Lord. I have no doubts about Peter. Um, about God using Peter for healing. And I have no doubts that he is sending the Bibles behind the Iron Curtain. And, and I just, and I love Peter, and I love his ministry. Amen. Jody, 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 Dean, Jody, Dean. No, it should be right there on your right side. Right side. Glory to God, come on up here. No, that's not her. Hallelujah. No, that's not her. Jody, In the blue. Dean. Glory to no, God. That, that might be her. Here it comes. OK, 
Okay, she lives at 4267 Masterson. 4267 Masterson, I can see the angels of God all around your house. And she's praying for her daughter Joy, who's allergic I'll to I'll tell you, God is going to give Joy complete deliverance. That's what you've been praying for. She's not going to have any more eating disorders. Before 86 is over, she's going to gain about 15 pounds. And you're going to rejoice. You're going to know. I'll tell you, she got shocked. She got shocked. Hallelujah. No, I would not support a fake in any way, shape, or form. And if I found out that he's a total fake, you know, he's going to pay the price. Well, you just saw how that he is a fake. On that. Yeah. But that doesn't mean that his whole ministry is no. a fake. 1627 10th Street. 1627 10th Street. That's right. You, Jesus, has angels all around your house. She has and the devil told you your ministry's over. I'll tell you, you're just getting started. You know, when people are ill, they're desperate. They're, they're ready to grab anything, you know. And a lot of people, they don't understand. I mean, you know, something like this is just, it's, it, it's not right. It really isn't right. Mm -mm. I believe that Peter should come out and face the public and that he and his wife should, should talk to people and be able to answer questions about their ministry. And especially all of us who have supported them should be able to give us uh, answers that we would like to have. If he's a true child of the king, he then he should come forward. Right. He will come forward if he's a true child of the Lord. After these interviews were conducted, we met Reverend Popoff at the San Francisco Hilton, where he was conducting a small fundraising event. Off camera, Popoff admitted to us that he did indeed use this radio device during the San Francisco Crusade, but he refused to comment on camera. If you could say anything to Peter now, what would you tell him? I'm going to say, I don't feel you've been honest. Quite on you know, I just don't feel that that's been deceitful. People think you're, they're being healed, and you, uh, you have their name and all that. Right in front of where she was was David DeSoto. DeSoto. David? DeSoto. Is it DeSoto? DeSoto. Yeah, he's right there. He's got a yellow shirt on. Come out here, David. Yes, he had a double rupture for two Glory years. to God. It bothers me. You've got a double rupture. Yes, Maybe yes. You want to whisper it to just take that thing away. Yes, sir. Here it comes. I'll tell you, you're going to work. You're going to jump. You're going to exercise and feel. Here it goes. And Je Jesus, net right now. Woo. Hallelujah. I tell you, that's the Holy Ghost. Whew. Take off and just run over there. There he goes. Amen. There he goes. I definitely will not support Peter Popoff's ministry until I find out all the facts. Right. If he's deceiving what is being told is deceiving and it's not be true, there's no way I'll support his ministry. No way, shape, or form. Excuse me, sir. Did you receive a blessing today? Yeah. Yes, sir. And what was the blessing? Well, I had a double hernia and it, and it took care of it. Well, we talked to you during the service. No. Um, he called me up by name and I went up there and he, no, he's, he's he, already left the, the miracle Reverend came. Popoff has left the building. Yeah. Do you think that you have uh, really been healed? Hi, Brother Gordon. Yes, I do. I'm not going to doubt it. Salvation. And are you filling out a gift certificate? Right he's God yeah. Bless you. Well, yeah, this card that they gave me. This Praise kind of the Lord. Have you ever donated money to Peter? Yes, I've always supported Great. him in missionary work that he does. Today I donated $100, and I usually throw in 100 like that every other month or so. I'm appalled at the whole situation, and if it's true, I'm very appalled. You are? Yes, any, I am. Any action you're going to take on this? Like I told you a moment ago, I'll say it on television. The human me would like to go break his face, <laughs> but the spiritual me will pray for him. Paid religion, whether you like this word or not, is a billion dollar industry a year in America. 
and no one is going to stop a billion dollar industry. And we thank God that he's allowed it to become that much of an industry because that's the way we're going to stay on television over the 1980s. Hello, Petey. I love you. Hi, Petey. I'm talking to you. Can you hear me? If you can't, you're in trouble. Uh, right next to her is Morris Christman. Christman. Yeah, he's got hernia and high blood pressure. High blood pressure. <laughs> Don't let him go overboard, Pete. <laughs> You don't want him to feel it. Come on. <laughs> you feel it. 